Hey! hey! It's Scott and Kirstie from Pentatonics. Congratulations to TMEA for supporting music in schools in Texas for a hundred years. Um, our music teachers were so amazing and so influential mm -hmm. in our lives, taught us so much. Shout out to Kay Owens yes. at Martin High School, um, and they inspired us to strive for an amazing level of musical performance that obviously helps today. And it all started in Texas, so yes. thank you guys so much. Congrats on a hundred years. Have another wonderful hundred years. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Hey, Stephen Sharp Nelson here. John Schmidt here. With the Piano Guys, congratulating TMEA for a hundred years of promoting music education and making a real difference out there. We love you so much. Congratulations. Here's to another hundred. Hello to all my music educator friends and congratulations on the hundredth anniversary of Texas Music Educators Association. I'm so excited to be here today as the caucus leader for the Fine Arts Caucus in the Texas State Legislature, wishing you all a very successful conference. And to tell you that the work that you do is so important to all of our children. I am a living example of that. I started my music career in the second grade with a teacher who recognized my skills and my ability and who helped to develop those. From that point forward, I have served in choirs from uh, a, a youth in, in my classroom to my Sunday school choirs. And today I continue to use that same talent to perform in a, an ensemble group that will be raising funds while you all are doing your music education conference. I'll be raising money for John Peter Smith Hospital to make sure that we can continue the music therapy program there. So what you do is important for people for a lifetime, to enjoy their skills, to take the critical learning skills that they obtain from their music in the classroom, to help them with the skills that they need to be successful in life. Uh, hey guys. Diego Bernal here, your friendly neighborhood state representative for Texas House District 123. Uh, to TMEA, congratulations on your 100 year anniversary. That's a tremendous accomplishment. Um, as a musician myself, I really appreciate the work that you do. And a lot of folks don't know this, but it was really music that got me into politics. Um, before I was in politics, I was a lawyer, but I was also making music and playing shows along the St. Mary's Strip. For those of you from San Antonio, you know where that is. Um, and I was, welcomed by the music community. I was very nervous about joining it. I found that all the other musicians and bands were very supportive, but more than anything, I learned that I can go to someone's door at running for office, knock on it, ask for the support, tell them my platform, try to find the things that we have in common. And at the end of the day, or even at the door, they may say, you're not the candidate for me. I've already chosen someone else. You and I just fundamentally disagree on X, Y, and Z, and I can accept that. But as a musician, I learned that that's so much easier to take than someone saying, I bought your last album and I thought it sucked. That hurts way more than anything anyone can tell me in politics. So going through that first was a great tee up. It was a great foundation uh, to deal with the rough and tumble world of Texas politics in particular. And so in many ways you're getting students ready for life because there's nothing sort of more being more vulnerable than creating art, playing art and putting it out there for people to review and to hear and even to critique yourself. Uh, so I really appreciate the work that you do. Um, congratulations on 100 years and here's to 100 more. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Dan Patrick, proud to be your Lieutenant Governor. I'd like to wish a huge congratulations to the Texas Music Educators Association for 100 years of service to our state. Now, let me go off script for a moment, just tell you. I'm a musician, not, not very good, but I've been playing the guitar since I was 12 years old. That's a lot of years. And I taught myself to play the piano not long ago. I know the value of music. It's been such an important part of my life. I used to have a big 18-piece band when I was a kid. I had a four-piece band when I was a kid. And I still like to play when I get a chance. And I've taught my son and my son-in-law to play. You know, and I know about how better students do, for example, in math, many because of music, because we know music is really math. And so I just appreciate what you do, and you'll always have my support uh, for the 12,000 music teachers and educators we have in this great state. It's so important, and it's so enriching, and it's so much fun. It's something you can do your whole life. And uh, I need a good piano teacher. I need a little bit of help out there. Anyway, thank you for what you do, and God bless. 
Congratulations to the Texas Music Educators Association on 100 years of supporting music education in our great state. My name is Mike Marath, Commissioner of the Texas Education Agency, and on behalf of the five and a half million souls in Texas public schools, thank you. Thank you for the work that you do helping our young people become the best versions of themselves. Whether we're talking about music, art, theater, dance, promotion of, of this part of the mind is so critical in our young people. We want them to become the best versions of themselves, to live lives of meaning and purpose and productivity. And music education is critical in that endeavor. Also, as a parent of four young kids, my oldest is six. We recently bought a keyboard for her, and she is learning music from her teacher at her school. Thank you for the work that you do, not only for the kids in our system today, but for all the kids that are to come. The future of our state is bright, and our kids are lucky to have you. God bless you for your work, and I hope you have a wonderful conference.